All right, before we get into playing around with the wizard setup, or the setup wizard, I should say, I've already removed this cover to kind of give you an idea of where things are. Again, this is all your 115 volt stuff connections up here. And then to get this down, this hinge is down, it'll stop. You don't want to lean on it. It's not meant to hold, help hold you up. And then all your low voltage connections in here. And that's got a cover also. So then a quick tour. You've got your built-in pump. You've got your trap. You've got your three-way valve. You've got a manual bleeder. So your pressure relief valve will go up here with a little air separator. And then you've got a manual air bleeder that just connects into the trap so you can take the air off the heat exchanger of the boiler. You got your spark rod, you got your flame sensor, you've got a pressure switch, you've got your inducer motor, and that's basically it. That's the TRX Series 2. So we're now in the upper control board. This is where all your 115 volt connections are going to be made. You can see we have two fuses, two glass fuses. We have zone one in, zone two, those would be pumps. You have your central heating pump. You have a domestic pump if you don't use the diverter valve in here. You've got zone one and zone two. This is all 115 volts. This is in the upper control panel. It's got a little cover over it. This is in the TRX Series 2 boilers. You can see on this TRX Series 2, I've hinged down the door and I've taken the cover off to expose the low voltage connections. So in here, you're going to see you have a terminal marked bus. That's for if you have multiple of these working in conjunction together. You have TT2, which is for your second zone. You have OD for your outdoor temperature sensor for automatic temperature setback. We have TNK, that would be for an indirect tank. We have system, that's if you have to put a sensor on the outlet pipe when you're doing multiple TRXs. And then we have TT1, which is your first zone. So you can see this one's jumped out. You're gonna obviously remove that jumper. This was just done for testing. All these terminals, to make it easier to deal with, they slide out so you can work on it, do whatever you got to do, and then you can just go back and slide it back in. They're color-coded, so A, you know where they go. B, they will not go in the wrong position. So that's what you've got. Bus, when you have more than one unit. TT2, when you have more than one zone. Outdoor temperature sensor. A tank, if you're going in indirect. And a system sensor, sometimes, depending on how you set up, multiple units, you're going to have to have a sensor on the pipe. So that's the lower comp control board that deals with the 24 volts in a TRX Series 2. All right, we're looking at the control of the new TRX Series 2. Now remember, the heat exchanger, the pump, everything we loved about this boiler stayed the same. The only thing that changed was maybe the clunky control, getting through all the parameters and getting the boiler set up. So let's jump into it. So if I hit the menu button, you can see it comes up. Your top line is Setup Wizard. The next one down, if you scroll, is Boiler Details. The next one down is User Menu, Tech Menu, and Test Mode. So let's go into Boiler Details. If I push the Enter button, now it's going to take a minute to load the details. Again, this boiler is not plugged in to water, it's not plugged into gas, it's not vented, so it might throw some codes here while we're messing with it. So you can see we can check the fan speed if it was running, the gas power if it was running, ionization current if it was running, boiler power if it was running. So to get out of this, you hit escape. Now, again, we could go right into the setup wizard, but I'm gonna hold that off until last. Boiler details, we went into that. User menu, let's go into the tech menu. So I'm gonna hit enter, and that gives us CH setup, central heating setup. So if I hit enter again, it tells me zone one. And if I hit enter again, it's gonna give me the max temperature for that zone is 115 degrees. Minimum temperature for that zone is 98. And then you can go into advanced settings if you want, or 
you can hit escape, get you back to the, the very first screen, hit, hit escape again, now you're back to the tech menu main screen and hit one more escape, now you're at the main menu. So let's jump right into setup wizard. So it's at the setup wizard now, if I hit enter, it's going to say outdoor reset, do I want it enabled or disabled? Since nothing's connected to this, I'm going to say disable, I'm going to hit enter. Next question, select the number of heating zones directly controlled by the boiler. One, I can change it to two, but I'm going to go back to one. I'm going to just say one. Hit enter. Now, select the type of heating. High temperature, and then it gives you an example. E.g. fin tube baseboard, or you can scroll medium temperature, i.e. a cast iron radiator or an air handler, or you can scroll again to low temperature. An example would be in-floor radiant. So let's say we have medium temperature cast iron, so I'm going to hit enter. Now it's going to ask me what I want the max temperature to be, and it's going to give you a suggestion. 149 degrees, I think we need a little bit hotter than that, so I'm going to crank it up to 155, and I'm going to hit enter. The next question is minimum temperature for that zone. How low do I want this boiler to go? I'm going to say I'm going to keep it tight. And I'm going to keep the bottom of that curve at 111. Now, central heat zone 1, auto temp control mode. Basic on off, I can choose that. I can go by room temperature, I can go by outdoor temperature, I can go by room and outdoor. Well, this is just a basic on off. It's a thermostat, so I'm going to hit enter. Now it says, would you like to enable password protection? I can go to on and enter a password. I don't want to do that because I'll never remember it. I'm going to go to off and hit enter. So now it's just confirming that you don't want a password protection on this. I hit enter again. Would you like to connect the product to the internet? I can scroll over to yes. Now this will help you if you connect to the internet. If you ever have problems, you're on the phone with tech support they can access this piece of equipment with permission from the homeowner and help you guide you through it. Most of us are just, we just worked a 12 hour day, we just want to get this boiler running, so I'm going to say no. That's it. Now the boiler's set up. You hit escape, it goes back to the standard settings. Give it a call for heat. It's going to go into an air purge mode and then it'll fire up and you can again go into tech menu to see where all this thing is going and running. But otherwise, you've just set up the, the boiler in less than three minutes.